Well, looks like I found something else just a little bit interesting. And uh, we, you haters, get that thumbs down finger ready. Get it ready. Get it ready. Get it ready. Because you about to be we, you mad. <laughs> so I'm uh, online, got home from work, and I looking around online and I see an interview with uh, the uh, developer behind Trine. And as you guys know, or you should know, Trine 2, the director's cut, is being made for the Wii U as a downloadable title. Um, it's going to be, I think, around $10 or $8. If you don't know about it, you should check it out. The game's gorgeous. It's a like not even for a downloadable title. Like This game is gorgeous. It's a very, very good-looking game. Um, and it's a downloadable game. The game looks very fun. I uh, hear good things about it on the PC and even from people that had the, uh, the original version um, on the PlayStation 3 and on the 360. Now, the version that's coming to the Wii U is a director's cut. Um, it has um, improved graphics, at least uh, over the PS3 and 360 versions of the game. And it also has more content. It's going to have, uh, the, I believe it's called the Goblin Menace uh, DLC that was just um, put on Steam a while back. Now, on to the topic at hand. And on to the reason why niggas are about to get butt hurt. <laughs> while talking about the Goblin Menace uh, expansion that's being included in the Wii U uh, Director's Cut. The developer goes on to say that it requires just a little bit, or actually considerable, considerably more horsepower than the 360 and PS3 can handle. Shocker. Yes, yes, my friends. A downloadable title on the Wii U cannot be handled by the 360 or PS3. Well, he says it can handle it, but it would have to be scaled down. It can come, but it can be scaled down. Meaning the PS3 and 360 aren't quite powerful enough to handle the game the way it was meant to be played and seen. We, you mad? 